guys, welcome back to the panel. This is Tea Therapy. And Molly the Square. Today we decided to do something different. We're actually gonna try these tea, tea, these tea. <laughs> Giant tacos. Alright, so today we're doing what we call snack. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Snack and smack. Yes. You know what right. that's about, guys. Spot the Oscar and we'll put the smack down on Chris Rock. Mm, Stay yeah, tuned. That. <laughs> Different kind of like food we could eat or whatever. Um, kind of like a mukbang, but we like talking about subjects, or, like actually talking about stuff. So just doing a mukbang. So we got Tito's. Big. 12, yep. Yeah. This big fat in there, 12 inch tacos. Tito's 12 inch tacos. If you guys haven't had this yet, what the hell are y'all doing with yourselves? I say that, and I never had one until now. So this will be our first, my first time digging into this behemoth. I'm gonna try to finish this thing. <laughs> now, the word of the day is try. Eat forever. We also decided to sneak in and steal some sauces. Because what's the point of, because this thing's gonna fall apart eventually. So I feel like it makes sense. So we're gonna start off by you know, letting us try our first bite first before we talk about the subject. So you ready? We're gonna try our first bite. So, I'm gonna try to pick this thing up as best I can. Ooh. Please don't fall apart, please don't fall apart, please don't fall apart. Okay. That's hurt. Oh, that's the very open best part. Dang it. I'll keep it, I'll keep it. Oh, bro. One, two, three. Hey. No, I just want to talk. Do you know what I heard about one? It's good. It's really good. <laughs> just so you know, guys, this is going to be a, a huge mess. So we definitely suggest you bring in a spoon and a fork. And let's see. Also, know we have two different styles. Mm -hmm. Mine's just here chicken and cheese. And I got some honey mustard and some ranch on the side. Mine is everything. We got French fries, we got chicken fingers, lettuce, tomato, spicy chili sauce. We got everything in this thing. Mmm. Oh my god. I don't have a choice that you got all that extra stuff on. Also, I have enough extra napkins. Extra napkins. Oh, okay, so. Will Smith. <laughs> Alright, so, as you all know. Chris Rock said something, you know, he made a joke at the Oscars, and Will Smith didn't take lightly to that. He was talking about his wife, called her J.A. Jane. Yeah, Jane. Mm -hmm. No. Now, it's the talk of the town, apparently. 
Mm. Mm. You can't look anywhere without mm. seeing a meaning about it. Personally, I feel like <clears throat> damn it. You could have about better. You could have got way worse from the action that actually did. <clears throat> There's a lot of controversy involved. Some say that it was well deserved, that he should have did that, second he should did. Um, some said it was all a lie. I'm more of like, there are other ways you can go about it, but if you feel like you have to defend, you have to defend. What do you think? Well, I think 50 50. I think he was right for standing up for his wife, but he didn't have to do it at the office. Boy, he could have politely did that behind the scenes or whatever, but hey, okay. I think the slap was off. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe it was at the wrong time in the wrong place. But you know, he had to stand up for a girl and for women. Her face didn't look so happy when he said it. Being that that's a uh, medical condition, so I know. Now the question I would worry about is, I wonder if Chris Rock knew. Mm -hmm. I said it's pretty to the world. He's not gonna say you know. I mean, I look when he gets seen, he's a ten times worse. No, but I still don't want to put all the heat on Chris Rock. He was on stage to be a comedian, and if you see shows and comedians and performing, they do jokes, people. They do jokes. Alright, they did jokes, so they did. <laughs> that part. So, I think what it does is, it shows humanity's <laughs> sensitivity. Yeah, they've been through a lot lately, and tangled it. <laughs> shows are not in control. How But, you know what that reminds me of? Mm -hmm. The Bishop Fell show. That episode about you know, keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah. That should have been on the Chappelle show. <laughs> For real. <laughs> well, keeping it real went wrong. Please fine. You know, pick that part up. Mm -hmm. I mean, now, I'm gonna okay. say this. People say to people like, oh yeah. It feels me out of what Cooper Wills at Smith's ass. I think Chris Rock went about the right way. Ryan, he protects his paycheck. Oh, yeah, because he said because he ain't got a bad contract. Look, man. Y'all say y'all about that life. Cool. Win or loss. Y'all still lose that money. So I'm pretty sure y'all about how many zeros. Is in that check you about to get. So, you and I, <laughs> you and I, What? That's true, so you can also make a payday out of Will's ass for smacking. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yo, speak about that. Even though little Willie from Philly got it, he can still make, you know, it ain't gonna hurt him, but. You still didn't pay out of that. Jim Carrey made a good statement on that. He said that he would have, he would have, sorry, he would have came up the next day saying he's suing Will Smith for two hundred million dollars. And he honestly got a good point. You slapped him on the Oscar. That's something that's never going to be left. That's never going to be vanished. It's never going to vanish. You get to relive that forever. That's documented forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see 
Virginia Beach that once every night and seven years, somebody probably would be smacked on the Oscars. <laughs> Remember you said that hmm? Will Smith smack kind of like overshadowed the entire rest of the show. Pretty much. But to be fair, it kind of put the show in the back. A lot of people didn't know the Oscars was on until they hear about the slap. That part. Mm -hmm. I might as well just ride a beautiful slap. <laughs> you can do it. Damn, he's a good. We all share. Bye, 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 bye.